You'll need to get an M.2 drive that has an SSD interface and not a PCI Express 3 one. I'm installing a Samsung 850. From experience I can tell you that you can't boot from a 900 series drive. You'll need to remove 10 screws from the bottom using a precision Phillips screwdriver. To open it up, you're going to pop the case at the front of the laptop, then lift up and push back. Put the drive in at 45 degrees and push it forward. Now push the drive down in place. To secure it, you'll need a screw that didn't come with the laptop. There's a link in the description below for the screw set I bought. To put the case back on, I found it easier to stand the laptop on its front and slide the back plate back in place. And once that's in there, you just snap the fronts down. From there, you just put the screws back in place. Remember that long one's in the center. After you power up, you'll need to initialize the disk. The easiest way to get to disk management is to right click on your start button and select disk management. Once in disk management, you'll probably get a pop-up saying you need to initialize a disk. Just make sure that GPT is chosen and click OK. Since we're using a Samsung drive, we'll use a Samsung drive copy utility. It's pretty easy from here. All you gotta do is open up the Samsung drive copy utility and then just follow through the process. When the process finishes, just follow the prompts to restart the laptop. I'm just going into the BIOS to show you that the drive copy utility has disabled the other C drives so the Samsung drive is the only one that starts up. So let's get it so you can use that second drive. Go back into disk management. You'll see that the original drive is offline. Right click on the drive and select online. From there you can delete the volumes and make a single one. Just as a side note, I wasn't able to delete the OEM volumes this way. If you want to do that, you'll probably have to use a partitioning tool. Well thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please share and subscribe.